Hello everybody, and welcome to our Great Negotiators game. The Leader Pass is out, and so this game is going to focus on the first three Leader Pass people, the Negotiators. The first Negotiator is Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is a sieve based on industry and moving forward. So, you want to build industrial zones so that you can create units for free um, and continue your amazing production. Your diplomatic policy slots in the current government are turned to wildcard slots, which gives you more diplomatic favor, so you can win diplomatically with this sieve as well. Uh, you have the P-51 Mustang, which the Americans already had. You also get the film studio, with 100% tourism pressure from this city toward other civilizations in the modern era. So that's a pretty solid sieve. Um, let's get started. This game's just meant to show off what these new sieves can do. Um, since I've never played with that before. Um, so we're going to be playing as all three in the game. Which should be a lot of fun. Let's see what our next one is. Our second sieve is Congo, and the leader is Nzinga Mbande. I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. Nzinga Mbande is the queen of Ndongo and Matamba, and cities receive plus 10 yields if on the same continent of your capital, minus 15 if on the other, so you want to stay on your same continent when you're playing as Congo. You get food, production, faith, and gold for each relic, artifact, sculpture, or great work of art. In addition to this, this is a cultural sieve. You get the Nagao Meba, which is a classic era unit that replaces the Swordsman, which is really good against defending against ranged attacks. And then you get the Mabanza, which is a district unique to Congo that can only be constructed in the rainforest and the woods. Replaces the neighborhood district, but is available earlier and cheaper. You get plus five housing automatically, plus two food, and plus four gold regardless of appeal. So this new build on Congo isn't really um, tied to religion, it's more based on cultural yielding, which is pretty sweet. Pretty pumped about her. Could definitely see myself playing as Congo more now that she's available. Alright, the last negotiator is Saladin with a rebrand. As you can see, he's got armor on now. Look out. Saladin the Sultan gets 100% flanking bonus and support bonus for all combat and religious units. So he's getting religious bonuses um, for fighting. He, of course, still automatically receives the final great profit when the next to last one is claimed, which is great. And he has the Mamluk at Madrasa. So, not a whole lot has changed, he just really gets the victorious now. So, a little bit more aggressive than his other iteration. So those are the three neg 